what is going on everyone rick strix here welcome to my youtube channel if you're new at this channel be sure to hit that subscribe button as you're not going to want to miss out on any of the content and stuff that i'm uploading um, and if you'd like to use my support creative code then it is on screen as we're speaking people that do use the code will receive prizes and stuff and also will be shouted out on the channel just like this guy huge shout out to you atc brother thank you very very much it does mean a hell of a lot to me um, so thank you very much for that but in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you how to stream and record on OBS without experiencing too much lag. Obviously, if you're like me and have a bad PC, this video will be perfect for you. So you're going to want to start off, guys, by adding in either a game capture or a display capture. Once you've done that, you can then head over to the settings tab. Now, there's only going to be a few tabs in here that are important, and that's going to be your stream, your output, and your video tab. All the rest are literally pointless. You can just ignore them. You need stream as you can see because you need to put your streamer key in here and obviously choose what platform you're going to be streaming on. Obviously mine's YouTube Gaming but etc we'll move on. Everyone that needs to click on output this is the most important setting. So streaming and recording your settings need to be set to the exact same literally uh, and start that off by at the top putting it on to advanced mode. Once you've done that guys we're going to be heading straight on to the uh, the encoder and this is going to be the one of the most important things that you need to set right so if you're like me and you have a bad pc but i only really have a bad cpu and my graphics card is a 1050 ti which is a reasonably good like a graphics card um you know it's not a bad one and it's not insanely good um so basically if you have a good graphics card and a bad cpu then you need to set this to the nvidia setting here um if you if you have a bad graphics card and a good CPU, then set it to times 264. So all this is doing here is the times 264 is your CPU and the other one is your graphics card. So you need to choose what one you want to stream from. So obviously my graphics card is the one I pick. So most of the power and stuff and all the performance comes from the graphics card and not the CPU. And it doesn't put too much stress on the CPU. So you could be opposite, you might have a terrible CPU, um, sorry, you might have a terrible like a graphics card and a really, really good CPU. If that's the case, then put it to the times 200 um, and thingy, I can't remember what it is, 264. Anyway, moving on, leave rate control at CBL, guys, uh, and then you're going to go to bitrate. Now, this is very, very important as well. Depending on how good your PC is, I would say the average number to put this on would be between 5,000 and 10,000, guys. Um, I have mine set to 10,000, my PC seems to be fine with that. Um, the higher the bitrate, the better the screen is going to look for the other people. The lower it is, then obviously the lower it will look, but the better performance you'll get and you'll lag a lot less because your PC is not having to, you know, stream or record too high quality basically. Um, so this number varies on your PC guys. So just test it out, start at 5,000. And if it's performing fine, then, you know, bring it up a bit and up a bit until you see it starting to make your PC lag. And then bring it down a tiny bit from there and then that will be your number. Um, and you can literally just cap it there. It's literally like capping your FPS on Fortnite, guys. Try and find a number that works for your PC um, for it to, you know, look all fine and stuff. But also with a good, what well, an okay performance, basically, you know. Um, so, yeah, so that is literally going to be it for the bitrate. When you go to this one here, guys, um, this is going to also be quite important. I have mine set to max performance. Um, so basically what that means is it will blur out certain things if the screen goes like too fast. So if I'm doing 90s really fast, it might look a slight bit blurry for a couple of seconds um, to keep my performance better for me. Um, so basically, if you have it set to max performance, it sort of... Um, it's like drawing, some guy explained it earlier, uh, Like he said it's like spending 5 minutes on drawing a photo compared to spending 10 seconds drawing a photo, so the quality difference will vary, you know, but I have mine set to max performance anyway because I need all the performance I can get and it doesn't do a huge, huge difference, it just makes the screen go a little bit fuzzy for a second and that is it. Um, and on recording guys, it is literally going to be the exact same thing, make sure you change this to whatever you literally just put your... Um, one two on streaming and um, put that to the exact same obviously choose your file wherever you want it to save to or whatever um, but yeah and also down in the bit rate make sure you put that to the same put everything the same guys literally everything make sure you put the recording format to mp4 that's very like that's important 
um don't put it to anything else and uh yeah guys and that is literally it other than that i really do hope you have enjoyed like i said uh, you need to watch my other videos. I don't think I did say it, but you need to watch my two videos that I uploaded showing you how to get um, a better performance on Fortnite. And also, once you've done that, guys, I forgot about this, but go on to video. This is really, really important. If you are lagging constantly and there's literally nothing you can do, then go ahead and put this down to 30. For me, it was lagging on 60. So I put it down to 59.94 and it was absolutely fine. So just me putting it down a slight bit has worked but for you guys you might need to go all the way down to 30 or even 29.97 guys but other than that that is it hope you enjoyed the video remember if you're new at this channel be sure to hit that subscribe button i also stream daily we do customs we do fortnite um fashion shows and things like that um so yeah sweet